Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I what is going on guys i could focus with another video for you today and today we're going to be playing another episode of dream daddy now hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode where we went on a date with matt and it was actually pretty awesome the, the mini game during the day was actually pretty fun the music was awesome i didn't know he was going to want to straight up go to a concert like right off the bat but hey i was fucking down for it and it was pretty awesome so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode and let's get right into this one all right while i'm doing my afterward uh while I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear a mail truck pull up through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. A nice mailman slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope to the slot. It takes a couple of tries to get them in. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay. Just thought you wanted this big envelope with the we got from HIA. Yeah. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I could come back. <laughs> Father, please. I hand over the envelope, which she tears in, <laughs> which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds hmm. it. And the suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Huh? I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in. Yo, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got in. Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview. And your photography is incredible. Mm -hmm. Wait, Dad. Mm -hmm. I know this one's really expensive and so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to. But I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough. We're going to make it work. Mm -hmm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever? All right. Oh, God. <laughs> the face on her, uh, the look on her face just says everything. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. All right. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Boy. Uh, Maple Boy. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a read with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch the ship sail lazily through the bay. Yeah. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby. And there's a discount if you bring your student ID And Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. I Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we all get professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's going to be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're going to be the best friends. Uh, we're going to be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But I don't even get me started. <laughs> But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought <laughs> home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl ruled. <laughs> Ooh, They let you have animals in the dorms if you could get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd, I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit though? Probably. Oh boy, I think I'll leave that all up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be a real but I need to be real for a second. So you know I had a talk with Mr. Vega. Hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. 
I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home on for the holidays? It's gonna be some treacherous ice roads, cross. Don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. <laughs> well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Mm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person, and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burritos. It's going to make you taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Uh. Love you, too, pups. Ah, uh, that was sweet. On to the next day. Welcome. You the dead bird. Oh, from Damien and Hugo? Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Hugo and I were planning to go to the art walk downtown, and we were wondering if you would care to accompany us. I would normally write a letter longhand, but I've run out of distressed parchment paper. Well, why can't I see uh, Damien and Hugo's tat? Am I a hacker? But I don't even have a hacker alias. The feds are going to bust down my door any minute now. I've got to destroy this computer. Here you go. This is the group chat. Oh, thank God. Do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? You can run Derek's boot and nuke from a... What? You can run Derek's boot and nuke from a startup flash drive. But once you've done it, it's best to physically destroy the platters altogether. Um... The Victorians were well versed in information security. You go, you want to go see some art or not? Art is good. Let's go see the art. Let's go. Damon and Hugo invite me to the monthly art walk downtown Maple, uh, in downtown Maple Bay. I've never really been to one of these before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm in for. I think I'm here a bit early. I don't see Damien and Hugo around anywhere, and I feel just a little uncomfortable standing among all these fancy art people. Ego? I turn around. It's Joseph. Joseph, what are you doing here? Yeah. Joseph scoffs at me. <laughs> what am I doing here? How could you ask me that? I'm obviously a huge art, uh, <laughs> appreciates. Appreciator? Appreciates. Aficionado? Oh. Hmm. Okay, fine. Damien invited me to this art walk thing. I'm guessing he invited you too. Yep, admittedly a little out of my depth here. <laughs> Thank God. I thought I was going to be uh, the odd one out. Are you allowed to say that? Say what? Yeah. Thank God. Hmm. Yep, I should get double points when I say it since I'm a minister. <laughs> wow. Oh. The points get you into heaven. That's how it works. Anyway, where are the guys? I look and spot Hugo, uh, Hugo and Damien, who seem to have just arrived at the gallery. Good eve, good eve, good eve. <laughs> Evening, friends. Oh. Who's ready for some art? You know I am. I have no idea what I'm in for. Art is dead and nothing is real. <laughs> uh, I know I am. Honestly, I, I like looking at art a lot. You know I love looking at paintings that are in frames, and also paintings that aren't in frames. Art is good. And stuff. Mm -hmm. Well put, Ego. Ah. All you have to know is that if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, there's generally always a table that has free wine and cheese. Where is it? I like art now. <laughs> I've got a table in my sights. Now, if you excuse me, I'll go help myself to some tiny wines. Uh, I'm going to get some cheese and tiny wine with Joseph. I think I need to cheese up before I delve into art appreciation. Good idea. Appreciating art does burn a lot of calories. Got to uh, carve up on these crackers. Joseph and I uh, sidle, sidle, sidle up to the snack table. There's a pretty nice spread of little plastic cups and white of white wine, and some crackers, grapes, and cheese. <laughs> this is more my speed. We eat a couple of cheese cubes in silence. These are really good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't eat dinner. I think I could probably just fill up on snacks if I'm sneaky about it. I already ate dinner, but I was all but I will always have room for cheese. I'm going in for more crackers. Cover me. I shield Joseph from a small crowd of mild mannered art people milling around the room. I don't think anyone's paying attention. We should probably get back to Damien and Hugo. Right. Let me just fill up with uh, fill this cup with cheese first for the road. Road cheese? Yeah. 
<laughs> the best kind. Let's go. We leave the first gallery and walk f a few minutes before we reach another one. This gallery is a bit more crowded. Huge paintings of... I'm not even sure. Hang on the walls. Oh. Oh, jeez. What am I looking at here? This is abstract art. I think the more important question is, what does art mean to you? I stare at the painting, concentrating as hard as I can, I can on its meaning. It's a butt. It's a butt. Hmm. Everyone else stares at the painting. Yeah, that's definitely a butt. I... Oh. Hmm. While a valid assessment, I feel like the artist was trying to make a different statement. Probably how much he liked butts. <laughs> you are servants of the Lord. Mm. We're all God's creatures, even butts. Oh. Comparing this piece to the artist's body of work, I'm pretty sure this represents a sense of isolation he feels creating traditional abstract artwork in a field that's rapidly moving towards digitation. Wow, how do you figure that? Oh. That's what it says on the placard. Oh. Oh. Let's look for let's look at a few more of these. We walk around the gallery sampling some more of the artist's work. I almost hate to say it, but abstract art is kind of growing on me. It's interesting and the artist chooses not to let their work be defined by, what's the word? Realism. Realism. As we're looking at one of the paintings, a patron scoffs loudly. <laughs> I could do that. Oh. Excuse me? I. Hugo, not here. Oh. No, come back here. The patron walks away, not noticing Hugo fuming right next to him. Oh. You say you could do that, but you didn't. You don't seem to have an intellectual depth or artistic skill to execute a piece even a fraction as impressive as this one. Hmm. Art is the truest expression of the self, and it seems that your self is so bad, your art would be bad. Hugo's insult game isn't the best, but there's no, deni uh, no denying his passion. Demon is holding him back at this point. Oh, no. Friend, friend, he's not worth it. Hmm. Hugo manages to cool down. He smooths his jacket. Eh. Sorry, I just love art very much. We know, buddy. I pat Hugo on the shoulder. Oh. You know, what would ease the mood? Is it cheese? No. Hmm? It's wine and cheese. Ah. Co-signed. The four of us head over to the wine and cheese table, which thankfully is grounded in realism and is actual wine and cheese. Mm. We got one last stop on the tour. You lot feeling up for it? Is it going to be anywhere weirder than this art? Ah. It is absolutely weirder than this art. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Damien, Hugo, and I walk over to the performance on the street. Several masked performers in leotards uh, undulate. Un un undulate. Undulate wildly on the ground, screaming both at each other and us. <laughs> so, quick question. Oh. Shoot. What is happening? I second this question. Oh. Performance art. What does it mean? Uh -huh. Again, I pose the very same question to you, Mr. Poker. Uh, fear of existence, the very humanity of being human. Uh, they really like screaming. But what do you think they're trying to say? Uh -huh. I believe it's less about what they're tr saying and more about why they're saying it. I think there's something special about performance art. With almost every other form of art, music, painting, photography, the artist uses their medium as a conduit for their emotions. With performance art, the medium is the artist. It's the purest expression of raw human emotion. It's art. It's art as catharsis, or its art is catharsis. I don't know. That's beautiful, Damien. So what you're saying is, if I start making really loud foul noises right now, it's art as long as I like really mean it. Demon fixes him with a hard stare. Yeah. I was gonna start making fart noises, but based on the look on your face, that joke isn't gonna play well with this crowd. Hey. Oh. Wise. Oh. We watch the rest of the performance as earnestly as we can and clap politely after the dancers scream their way off stage. Phew, I think I'm all art out. Arted out. Agreed. We all decide to walk home together. Ah. We will make our way back to the cul-de-sac. Tiny wine and tiny cheese sloshing around in my stomach. I think what I've learned tonight 
and not just what I've learned about art, which was nice and extremely informative. But what I've learned tonight is that when you put a bunch of tiny wine and cheese, tiny cheese together, it eventually becomes regular wine and regular cheese, followed by too much wine and too much cheese. The tiny cheese lulled me into a false sense of security. I felt safe with the tiny cheese. Wax wings too close to the sun. Hmm? Cheese wings. Those would melt in the sun too, and I feel like it's more appropriate imagery. <laughs> Plus, it'd be delicious. A nice... A mint. I don't know these words, man. I gotta look shit up. A nice amentilator, possibly. A mentator? A mentator. Hey, if you guys were painters, what would you paint? I actually dabble in oils. I mostly paint landscapes. I'm not very good, but it's a nice way to pass the time. Oh. I think I would focus on personal po uh, portraits of people in unique professions, like, for example, luchadors. I think I'd paint boats, seascapes. Maybe some lighthouses, mostly boats. Really? Hey! Yeah, I'm surprised you're choosing boats in favor of long history of religious imagery and artwork. Oh. What? Boats are cool. Um. What about you, Ego? Uh. I, I'd probably do landscapes. Oh. I think I could examine a lot of beautiful imagery and recapture it on canvas. And I'm just kidding. It's gonna be butts. Oh. Just to give me a high five. We finally get to the call to sec. <laughs> All right, boys. Good art. Good art. Uh, Agreed. Hey. See you guys around. Whether you want to or not, we're all neighbors. Off they're all. I had in time to deal with my inevitable cheese over. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. A bit shorter episode than the previous ones, but hey, that's the point of it, really. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed going to see art with the guys and you know seeing all the dad jokes the or not dad jokes but like butt jokes <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode it was a little more tame than last episode but all the same nonetheless and hopefully next time we can go on a date with one of the other guys and you know get to know each other a little bit more but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed remember to like comment subscribe the link to my twitch is in the description below go ahead and follow me over there and yeah until next time guys I'll see you later.